Hi, this is Isabella. Welcome to the Blue Saga vlog. Here's our top five favorite foods that we have in Thailand that we find ourselves keep going back to. in Thailand for months from north to south gave us a unique opportunity to experience some regional food and from grilled sausages and noodle soup from the homes of Lananese to some sweet sweet seafood and specialty dessert in the south and the many many different styles of salads that we have all over Thailand and just thinking about it makes us want to go right back to Thailand and have some number five roti when we were in Phuket, there was this cute little cart outside a hotel that has hanging bananas and jars of Nutellas and honeys and shakers of cinnamons and powdered sugar where he will make these egg-sized dough into paper-thin roti. And of course, he would pan sear it with a dollop of butter that just smells, makes the whole neighborhood smells amazing. And then when he when it starts to crisp up, he would fold it into a square and cut into put our favorite toppings and cut into a little bite size. It was just the perfect sweet ending to our evening, and we loved it. Number four, tom yum. Perhaps a hot and spicy soup in 28 degree weather isn't the first thing you think about, but when in Thailand, tom yum is highly recommended. This deep and flavorful soup base added with infused with fresh herbs and vegetables like galanga and lemongrass and ginger and of course some spicy chili too. And the version we had, which was our favorite, was with noodles and some awesome seafood. And even in the super hot day, it was worth it because the tom yum flavor is absolutely unbelievably good. Number three, khao soy. When we're in Chiang Mai, we read that if you have time for three dishes, it was khao soy, khao soy, and khao soy. And after we had it, we definitely understand why. This coconut curry based broth dish is richly coating some fresh egg noodles, and then some braised meat on top, and then some more fried noodles for crunchiness as well. And the condiment of choice a lot of times is with some shallots and sour mustard greens and some really spicy chili as well. And this wonderfully comforting dish is something we never had before and we definitely miss it. Number two, mango sticky rice. I started thinking about mango sticky rice the moment we knew we were coming to Thailand. And mangoes in Thailand is something else. It is sweet like sugar and juicy like a melon. And in this dessert, these perfect mangoes is laid on top of these perfectly al dente sticky rice, often served warm, and then drizzle with some smooth coconut milk. And for texture, they also add some crunchy mung beans on top, which is a bit different than how we usually have it with peanuts. But no matter, it was absolutely scrumptious. In fact, I was having this dessert every day for a week before I was able to pull myself to have another dessert. It was so good. Number one, papaya salad. It's probably one of the most quintessential dish you can have in Thailand and it showcases Thai flavors perfectly. In the dressing alone, it has sour lime and hot chili, some sweet palm sugar, and some salty fish sauce. And all pounded together in the mortar and you add some papayas and tomatoes and at the end you even sprinkle some peanuts in it. And in different regions of Thailand, we found that you can we had it with shrimp and squid, some with blue crab and rice noodles. And we even had one with a cured salted egg. It was quite unusual, but it's always custom made so you can have it any way you like. And it's no wonder that every region of Thailand we went to, we always went back to papaya salad and we were never tired of it. earlier there are some amazing food in Thailand. There are these appetizers of fresh rolls and sautés to some wok fry noodles like the pad ki maos and the pad thais. And of course how can you come to Thailand without having a pineapple fried rice? And I didn't even mention the fresh fruits that are available all over the country. So definitely come here and explore and discover some amazing amazing food here. But if you like this episode give us a thumbs up if you want to see where we're going next, subscribe below. Bye!